Welcome to practice. This class is a great way to stretch out your legs post skiing or really any activity that involves the lower body. Blocks will be useful for things like lunges and half splits. We're gonna start in child's pose. So make your way onto all fours, separate your knees, connect your toes, send your hips back to your heels, stretch your arms forward, let your forehead rest down on the mat, maybe on a block. Close down your eyes and let's take three deep breaths here. Lengthening the inhales, the exhales. Breathing in and out through the nose. Letting the breath bring our awareness, our attention within, back to ourself. And then with your next breath in, rise up to tabletop. Send your shoulders above your wrists. Take your knees a little closer in so they land underneath your hips. Cat cow. Lift your tailbone. Lift your chest. Breathe in. Round your back as you breathe out. Separate your shoulder blades apart. Two more times. Lift your tailbone. Lift your chest. Just a little warm up through the spine. And also bringing movement into your hips and your pelvis as you tilt your tailbone up on the back bend and tuck your tailbone under on the forward fold or on the rounded spine. And then neutralize your spine, tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Keep a little bend in your knees and then start to pedal out your feet, bending one knee, bending the other knee, moving your hips from side to side, stretching out the backs of the legs, the bottoms of the feet. And then just come to a neutral down dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Now lift your right leg up to the sky. Take an inhale. Bend your right knee and open through your hip as you exhale. So the knees lifting high to the sky. And then straighten out your right leg. Square through your hips. Look forward and take a big step up of the right foot in between the hands or as far forward as you can get it. Bring your left knee down, catch a hold of your blocks. You could also just pop up onto fingertips, frame off your right foot, bend into your front right knee. Let's take a lunge. If you need to, you could heel toe your right foot a little bit further forward. Stretching the left hip flexor. If you want more sensation, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under and send your hips forward and lift your chest up. Let's take three more cycles of breath here. Continuing our deep inhales and full exhales so that the breath continues to bring movement, awareness, and space inside of the body. Now straighten out your right leg. Walk your hands, your blocks back. You may want to slide your right heel a little bit further forward, half splits. Flex at your right foot. Draw your chest forward towards your right big toe. We'll hold here, inhale, and exhale. And then turn your right toes out open to the right side. So you're externally rotating from the right hip to stretch the outer right hamstring. Take a breath in and a breath out. Bring your toes towards the center and then take your toes over to the left. You can let your hips sway to the right a little bit. We're looking to find a stretch now through the inner right hamstring. Breathe in. Breathe out. Back to the center. Rebend into your right knee. Slide your right foot in. Move your blocks off to the sides. Plant your palms. Lift your left knee up. And then step back to downward facing dog. So right foot goes back beside the left. Again, stay up on your tippy toes. Little bend in your knees. Walk it out. Bend one knee. Bend the other knee. You can even notice the difference that you feel between the right leg and the left leg. Just noticing the effects of only two postures. And then come to a neutral down dog, take a breath in and a breath out. Lift your left leg up to the sky, take an inhale. Bend your left knee and open your hips. You're trying to lift your knee up as high as you can. 
and then straighten out your left leg. Square through your hips. Look forward, big step up with the left foot. Try to get it in between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Grab your blocks or pop up onto your fingertips for our low lunge. You can keep your back toes tucked or pointed, whatever feels best for your knee. Heel toe your left foot a little further forward so you could lunge into the knee. Big stretch for the right hip flexor. Again, if you want more sensation, you tuck your tailbone under and send your hips a little bit further forward. Let's take another three breath here. As you take really deep, deep breath, you're also going to help stretch out your psoas. This deep muscle in the body connecting to the right hip bone, part of your sort of hip flexor group. So we're using the breath to help with the stretch. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then straighten out your left leg, send your hips back, walk your blocks back. Slide the heel a little further forward if you'd like. And then flex at your left foot as much as you can. Take your chest forward. If it's too much for your hamstring, just a little bend in the left knee. Holds here in the center. Inhale. Exhale. Turn your toes out towards the side, stretching the outer part of your left hamstring. Keep drawing your chest forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Toes to the center and then over towards the right. You can let your hips sway to the left a little bit. So you're feeling a nice stretch through the inner right or left leg. You'll feel more of a sensation if you take your chest further forward. And then bring your toes back towards the center. Rebend into your left knee, blocks off of the mat, hands down, downward facing dog. Right knee up, left foot steps back. Just hold in a neutral down dog. Feel the length through the backs of the legs, the sensations through the hips. Take one more breath as you are. And then look forward, bring your hands a little bit closer together. Start to walk your feet forward and towards the outside of your hands. So you could start to bend your knees, walk your feet out, and then bend your knees, sink low, malasana, little yogi squat. Knees wide, toes out towards the sides, hands come towards the heart. Take a deep inhale. Exhale it out. And then bring your hands back behind you. Guide your sitting bones down, doesn't need to be that graceful. And then lift your toes up, take just your heels down on towards the floor. Make two right angles with your legs, lengthen your spine, inhale. Drop your knees to the right as you exhale. And then bring your knees through the center and over to the left. Good, back to the center. Keep your feet wide, but take your, your the soles of your feet down, reach your arms forward, and then roll yourself down nice and slow, vertebra by vertebra. And then open the arms out wide towards the sides, palms facing up. Slide the feet a little bit closer in towards your hips, but keep them wide, inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees to the right. So same thing that we just did, but now we're laying down on our back and we're gonna keep our knees over to the right. If you want a little bit more sensation through your left hip flexor, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under. So it almost feels like you're lifting your hips up a little bit to stretch through your left quad. And then again, we deepen our breath, bringing movement into the psoas, which is connected to your diaphragm. Letting the breath bring lots of movement into the body. Helping with the stretch. Take another inhale and another exhale. And then bring your legs through the center and let's switch sides. So knees will go over to the left. If you want, you can turn your head to the right and then play with tucking your tailbone under to stretch your right hip flexor, your right quad. And continue to deepen your breath.
Take another inhale. Another exhale. Head to the center, legs to the center. Keep your knees wide, pick your feet up and catch a hold of your shins. You can hold here, you can lift your feet up and reach for your shins, your ankles. You could also reach for the outer edges of your feet. Happy baby. Our last position, give yourself a little rock from side to side. Last big stretch for the hips, for the legs. And then release, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, release your arms, release your legs, lay down onto your back. And let's take three cycles of breath here just to close our practice the same way we opened. Slow, steady inhales, full, complete exhales, breathing in and out through the nose. And then on your final exhale, just release the control of the breath, the body, and take this moment to sincerely thank yourself for your practice, for taking good care of your body, allowing your body to continue to do all of the different sports and activities that you love. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Namaste.